Well, the Mr. Bobcats have a big weekend ahead of themselves and joining me on the desk is Moses who will have more on what exactly that big event is. Well, not only do they play three games in three days, Nairman, two of those contests will be played in front of college scouts at the AJHL Showcase. Matt Schumont has more. The Bobcats will play the first of two three games in three nights this coming weekend. With six points on the line in the next three days, the Cats aren't looking too far down the road and are just taking it one game at a time. It's going to be big for everyone. Um, it's the showcase and you know it's big because uh, they got a lot of scouts there, a lot of schools coming down. I think it's big for the 20 year olds to you know come in and play their game. Same with everyone, everyone else. And it starts in practice especially. If we practice hard all week and get our systems right and focus on what we need to do. It'll go on the weekend doing good. Not only is this weekend an important stretch, two of the games will be in front of scouts from everywhere. The vets that have been there know what to expect. As for the rookies, they'll be looking for guidance from the older players and coaches. Play to their strengths. Uh, like sometimes they want to go in and do too much. And uh, you know, the colleges and whether it's pro hockey or whatever, they need the uh, same base of players as we do, whether you're a defensive player or your face-off guy or your power play guy or an offensive guy. Uh, they need those players in all those situations as well. Some guys try and do too much when it comes to this with all the scouts, but I think our team, everybody knows that team's first, so play as a team and then thing will work out. Despite all the distractions, the Orange and Black enter the weekend with a little momentum as they are currently riding a two-game winning streak. It was definitely big. You know, we took uh, the four points out of Grand Prairie, and I think we played our best hockey. And I think it's important that we, uh, you know, keep it going into showcase. And the scouts and schools there definitely want to see a winning team. So that's definitely what we're going to have to do to press that. We're playing two southern teams, which we haven't had a chance to watch a whole bunch, other than on video. And Kyle's done a great job on that. So certainly we know as much about them as they're going to know about us. The Bobcats open up the showcase on Friday with a 1 p.m. game against the Calgary Mustangs. Matt Schumont, Newcap Sports. All right, to Junior B Hockey now, the Lemonster Bandits get ready for their season to kick off Saturday night against the Onion Lake Border Chiefs. The team is full of depth, especially between the pipes. Do you know who your starting goalie is for Saturday night? Saturday night's going to be Easton. He's going to get the start, so uh, he's excited. Home opener against Onion Lake, and we're ready to go. Head coach Jason Newman is in an enviable position. A pair of starters between the pipes who can do the job. In 21-year-old Easton Oborowski and 20-year-old Jason Yonoda, a stark contrast from a year ago. The last year we started off with no goaltenders, but no, I mean, we're really excited about to have two quality veteran guys come in and they're, they know what the league's about. No, it's not like the Corey Schneider and the Wongo deal. That was going on last year at all. It's a little more friendly than that. We had a lot of chems, so... Glad to be playing with another goalie that get along with the whole time and fight for number one, kind of put some pressure on each other. It's good. The two have been here before, playing together at the midget level. They shared the crease then, and they'll do it once again. However, the road traveled has been different. Yonoda broke out in the playoffs last season, and Oborowski is back after taking a year off to heal up some bad shoulders. Muscles didn't grow when I was younger, so they're kind of just stretching the whole time, causing some pain. but. We got him taped up for the season, so they should be good. He wasn't so sure if he was going to be have that fire under his rear, rear end that would get him playing this year. So I kind of kept him, kept him keep the fever going all summer. Trying to look for any controversy or animosity between the two is hard to find. But the backstops have no problem when describing who's the best. Better looking, maybe. He's a better stick handler. I might be a little quicker. Better looking, I wouldn't go that far. But uh, his legs might be quicker right now, but don't worry, I'll get him. Joking aside, both know what's at stake. If one falters, Coach Newman won't hesitate to pull the trigger. The hot guy's going to go, and we're still going to get the other guy in. And if it changes somewhere through the season where the one other guy gets hot, we're, 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 gonna, we're here to win, and we're going to have the goaltenders play to win. And if one guy gets on a roll, we're going to roll with him a little bit. Which suits the players just fine. We're pretty, pretty comparable. Um, I think it boils down to the mental game for both of us. So who's going to play the most consistently will probably be the guy that will play the most. you got to show up to play, so if you don't play good, you're not going to get to start the next game, and that's the way it should be. All right, moving to hockey, the Lloydminster Universal Heat got off to a blazing start last week with a pair of wins. Leading the way was offense, or on the offense, was Zane Franklin. Matt Schumont has more on the veteran in this week's Superstar Next Door. 
Growing up watching his uncles play hockey, Zane Franklin knew that's what he wanted to do. But there was another reason why he wanted to get involved with the sport. I think just watching it on SportsCenter and, and seeing how much fun it could be and stuff. So I think that really got me into it. In two games last week, Zane put up eight points, including five goals. He gives a lot of credit to his line mates for his early success. I think it's uh, a big part of playing with good players so far and just just uh, working hard and uh, showing them that I can produce an offense. So, One of many vets returning to this year's team, Zane was awarded with the title of assistant captain for his leadership on and off the ice. He's not uh, a big vocal guy, but he can be when, when things need to be said. Um, when things are going wrong in a game, when we're sitting on a 2-1 lead or, or a 1-1 tie, he was the first guy to step up and say, guys, let's get our feet moving, we got to get going here. Um, he's great taking some of the younger guys out for breakfast and stuff. Entering his WHL draft year, Zane hasn't looked that far, but still has given himself a big goal to accomplish this year. I like to be somewhere in the top in scoring and, and put my, like, know that I'm playing and putting up points and stuff. Matt Schumont, New Cap Sports.